Okay, this is the lesson for the greenhouse effect notes. And the first thing we're going to talk about when we talk about the greenhouse effect is the fact is a metaphor. Okay, here's a metaphor for you. The greenhouse effect is like a car in the sun. So everyone's gone to a car in the middle of the summertime. They're walking up to their car and they're just dreading it because they know they open the door and it's going to be what inside? It's going to be crazy hot inside. So if the greenhouse effect is like a car in the sun, let's have a diagram of that. Here's a car. Okay. We're going to break this into three steps. One, two, and then three is the bouncing of these arrows. So step one, visible light and ultraviolet light enter the car. So that's coming from the sun. Visible light and UV light go right through the glass. Obviously they can go through the glass, that's what they do. Step two is that they're absorbed by the car. The car absorbs that heat. Okay. Now as you're making this diagram, it's a good idea to maybe label this arrow UV light. Anyway, back to the notes. It is absorbed. Well, if it's absorbing UV light, it's going to warm up. It's going to warm up. Now, warm things have infrared light, we learned before. So out, the outgoing infrared light from that warm interior of the car cannot escape the car. That's what these little bouncing arrows are. Infrared light trying to radiate out radiant heat trying to get out but the glass doesn't let it out so the glass is letting uv light in but it's blocking the infrared light from getting out and that's why your car can be as hot as 150 degrees sometimes 180 degrees in the summertime okay so this is a picture of a person taken by an infrared camera okay now all warm things give off infrared light. We saw that before, but you can see his glasses are blocking that infrared light. The glasses, the glass in the car window, the glass on this person's face is acting like a mirror to that infrared light. So the infrared light is going, hitting the glass, maybe the back window, maybe the side window, and it's bouncing off, just like it, uh, visible light bounces off of a mirror. You can see in this picture, the heat from his eyes, that radiant heat that we should be seeing here, should be going to the camera, but it's being blocked like a mirror by these glasses. So, if the atmosphere has this thing called the greenhouse effect, the atmosphere obviously doesn't have a big glass covering over it. So, there must be something in the atmosphere that acts like it. It acts like that glass covering. Alright, so the thing in the atmosphere that acts like the gla glass in a car is the greenhouse gases right there. We could talk about these for days, but what I really want you to understand is that there are some common ones. CO2, NO2 stand for carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide. This is the one that comes out of tailpipes or carbon plant or um, power plants. Nitrous oxide is made when we do a lot of industry stuff, so making smartphones and, you know, making stuff. The bottom two, CH4, this is methane. This is given off when cows are digesting food. Um, we give off methane. This is an organic kind of greenhouse gas. CFCs, also known as chlorofluorocarbons. And I won't expect you to be able to, to say this later, but chlorofluorocarbons, while they are a greenhouse gas, they have a bigger impact on tomorrow's lesson, the, the ozone layer. So, you know, I put these four up, but these are not all equal greenhouse gases. The warming by gas, so each gas does a different amount of warming. Carbon dioxide does the biggest amount. So... Carbon dioxide is responsible for most of the warming that happens. Methane comes in second. Nitrous oxide 
comes in third, and then all others, including CFCs and HCFCs and all the other ones, come in all others here. So the takeaway here is carbon dioxide is probably the most important one, second to methane. Second one is methane. So these are all trace gases. That's a good point to know that those little trace gases that there's not very much in the atmosphere do a, do a lot of stuff that affect us. Okay. Now, the Earth's greenhouse effect, I have a drawing to go along with it. should look familiar. One, this is coming from the sun. Visible and ultraviolet light enter the system. It hits the earth. It is absorbed and the earth warms up. And then step three, because the earth is nice and warm from that sunlight, earth warms up and that outgoing infrared radiation from the warm earth can't escape. Well, some of it can escape, some of it cannot escape, but to simplify it, we're just going to say, nope, it's going to get reflected back down. Now, if there were no greenhouse gases, if there were zero, none, the Earth would be about negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It would be very, 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 very cold. Okay? Because of that, the greenhouse effect is a good thing. So that's one thing we need to remember. The greenhouse effect in itself is a good thing. Did you know that gases in our atmosphere help control the Earth's temperature? Greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, trap heat in the atmosphere and keep the Earth warm. This is called the greenhouse effect. It all starts with sunlight, which is a form of energy. Land and water absorb most of the sunlight that reaches the Earth. The rest is reflected back to space. The Earth's surface warms up then gives off energy in a different form, called infrared radiation. This energy travels back towards outer space. Greenhouse gases trap some of this energy in the atmosphere before it can escape, making the Earth warmer. We need some greenhouse gases. Without them, our planet would be too cold for plants and animals to live. But people are adding extra carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Whenever we drive a car, use electricity, or make a product in a factory, we use energy. A lot of this energy comes from burning fossil fuels, like oil, gas, and coal, which produces carbon dioxide. How do you think extra greenhouse gases affect the amount of heat trapped in the Earth's atmosphere? You guessed it! Extra greenhouse gases trap more heat, which makes the whole planet warmer. And warmer temperatures lead to effects like changing rain and snow patterns, rising sea level, melting glaciers and ice sheets, and much more. It's a big problem, and it's all happening because we are overloading the atmosphere with greenhouse gases. By making the greenhouse effect stronger, we're upsetting the Earth's natural balance and warming our planet.